is going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and we are back today. And I had somebody reach out the other day, and um, he had seen my video on the greatest air gun ever made, which in my opinion is the Sheridan Blue Streak. It's just a nostalgia thing for me, but I really, really do think that it is the greatest air gun that was ever made and for more than one reason um and we can well i'll briefly touch on it mainly because at its peak at its time of conception and release it changed the air gun industry in my opinion it was so accurate and so powerful and it changed so many people's lives having that gun that I just feel like it was the greatest of all time. However, I had somebody reach out the other day and they said, Moose, I'm kind of getting into the whole air gun thing. I really can't afford a PCP uh, right now. And I understand, it, it, you know, PCP is not for everybody. The guns are a little bit more money. Uh, obviously, you need a way to fill them with air, whether it's a hand pump or a compressor or a tank. And compressors and hand pumps and tanks can get expensive. Not super expensive, but they just can. It's not as cheap as just going and having something like this. So he asked me, he said, hey man, if you had to pick a CO2 gun, what would you pick? Well, here you go. I would 100% pick the Diana Chaser, hands down, without a doubt, but I would pick it in the pistol slash carbine kit okay and what that means is is that this this gun came in pistol form but it also came with the buttstock and a longer barrel to turn it into a carbine and let me just say this this gun is so ridiculous so ridiculously accurate that the amount of fun that you're going to have with this gun is ridiculous. It's capable of ratting, um, mousing, whatever, small game, close by. Um, it's This one's in uh, 177. Nope, 22. Sorry, this is a 22. Um, I actually have two of these kits. Um, and uh, I can tell you that, honestly, it is probably the most fun that you can have for the least amount of money. I don't remember the exact cost of this, but it is not a lot of money. And then simply CO2s and pellets to go with it. Um, it is really, seriously guys, the, the most um, fun. Now I've heard all kinds of problems with these, people talking about the cocking handles, breaking off, things like that. I personally have shot the heck out of this gun. I've never had that happen. Now, I also have a tendency uh, to put my finger uh, close inside, not grabbing it way outside, and pulling it down the length of the um, the uh, you know the travel itself, um, and just never had any problems. Um, they have the bipod attachment for them as well. This is a CV, CV Life, um, and honestly, man, just getting out. And uh, I've got this topped with the Hawk Red Dot. And um, honestly, the scope was is basically as much as the gun. Um, you know, <laughs> this Hawk Optic is absolutely phenomenal for uh, being a Red Dot. Um, it, it tuned to this gun flawlessly and, and just beautifully. And, um, you know, honestly, it just became the staple of this gun. Honestly, it's it's been on here for a long time. And... It's probably never going to come off. Um, this gun is super lightweight. This is something that you could easily throw into a backpack just by simply removing the uh, buttstock off the back here and then sliding it into a backpack, taking it out with you, and just having a field day. I mean, to be honest with you, even in a survival situation. Now, I know there's about to be a bunch of people that go, dude, I'd never take CO2 into a survival situation. Now, I, I don't necessarily disagree, but for a CO2, this would be a great platform in my opinion. 
Now, obviously, in a survival situation, if we want to go down that little rabbit hole, because here we go, because I opened my mouth, uh, yeah, a pumper would be better. For sure, right? Because you could grab two tins of 500 pellets uh, in a 177 or a 22, and, uh, you know, basically all you have to do is pump the gun to get it to shoot. So, yes, I agree. But if you're, you know, even if you wanted to go camping and you wanted to hunt for your own, you know, tree rats or whatever, you know, this is more than capable of doing it. Um, I don't remember the exact velocities on this, but, I mean, honestly... It's not bad, guys. It's really not bad. It, it's surprisingly, like I said, it's very, very accurate. Uh, it's surprisingly pretty quiet. And um, honestly, like I said, super duper lightweight. Especially, you know, you take this bipod off here. And I mean, this thing, this thing is just ridiculously light. I mean, I, I, I can't even... I can't even fathom telling you guys just how light this is because it is just, I don't even know. And I don't have a scale with me, but like I said, I can tell you that it is silly light. It, it would make no, no impact on your ability to carry it anywhere out in the woods. Um, I've even, um, I had a friend that uh, we went um, out plinking one day on his property, just walking around, you know, doing whatever. And, um, he actually had a piece of rope, um, tied around. I don't remember if it was up here or over there, but whatever it was, he just had the gun just kind of slinging off of his chest and he, and he never even touched it until it was time to go. And, um, it was just awesome. We both took ours out that day, but, um, like I said, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I do single load mine, um, only because, um, the optic kind of gets in the way of the magazine. Not that you couldn't run a magazine, you can, but to be honest with you, um, I, I just found that this is just as, just as good. Um, at one point I had a little, um, uh, can't, uh, kind of like a cantilever, um, dovetail back here, uh, so that the, the scope would not get in the way of the magazine, but I lowered it back down. Don't really care. Doesn't, like I said, doesn't get in my way, so it doesn't bother me. I guess if you really wanted to. You could probably loosen these up, slide your scope back a little bit, and get the clearance for the magazine, but whatever. Um, but uh, overall, this is it. This is my pick, man. So um, I don't remember your name off the top of my head, but you know who you are. You reached out and said, Moose, if you had to pick a CO2, which one's it going to be? This would be it. This really would be. Um, I just absolutely love this gun. We'll get some more shooting targets of this and some other guns coming up here. Weather's just about to start breaking. We got spring around the corner. We are in northern Michigan, so it's cold, cold, cold. And we get a ton of snow, so it just is what it is. But with that being said, till next time, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns Michigan. Be good to each other. Don't forget to check out the Diana Chaser. And uh, I'll put a link down below where you guys can find that. Till next time, be good. Take care. God bless.